Hello and welcome. Today we are going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, our Love That Dog book club. And I thought I would share it with you ladies. Hello everyone. Thanks for coming in and for replay viewers. Thank you. All right. Thanks for the hearts. I see them flying. Um, so real quick though, thank you. Uh, my name is Mary Wilson and um, I'm a homeschooling mom of four kids. They are 13, 11, nine and six. And for my older two children, the 13, 11 year old, we have been doing monthly book clubs based on Brave Writer, Arrow, and Boomerang book titles. And we have coined our little celebrations here at the end of each book as party school. We get together and we have kind of a multi-sensory experience around the book that we have been reading. And it has been a blast. I think it's one of my favorite things we do. So if you are new to this, Hi, Kira. Kira is one of my book club attendees. She is cheating and taking a little peek early. <laughs> um, you are welcome. If you are new, you can find me on Catch and you can see some of our past book clubs. And also on my blog, I usually get around to at some point blogging it. Let's see, here's my note cards. I have finally, I forget to have them sometimes, but this is my blog. And I have finally gotten it set up correctly that you can find me at facebook.com backslash not before seven. Yes, Kirsten, book club is so much fun. So our book club actually starts at two o'clock. So real quick, I'm just going to show you a few of the ways we are celebrating. Hi, Jeanette. And I have to be honest, this one I can't take a whole lot of credit for. Um, we rotate this each month, and the moms do the craft and the snack and the activities and everything. And this actually was not my month, though I offered my house for people to use if they needed. And one of the moms was going to host it here, and she has ended up very sick. So she dropped off yesterday the craft you're going to see and all the food you're going to see. And I have added very little to that, um, just a few other little things because I had some time. Um, so she has done a fabulous job, and I'm going to show you what we're doing. Um, first of all, I'll show you our book this month. It is Love That Dog by Sharon Creech. Fantastic, fantastic book. I'm going to show them that. I know you're excited. It is all free verse poetry, so it is a great month to do some poetry with it. Um, and then what inspired our that is something I threw on there last night, is my daughter copied the book cover onto the tablecloth. So sometimes it's just something really simple that can kind of create an atmosphere for you. And this was just one simple way to do that. I know someone asked if all the families do the arrow guides, and no, they don't. There are a few other families in the book club who are doing the arrow guides. I don't share them with anyone, um, but when I started the book club, I let the families know that I picked the titles because of the arrow book club, and that was kind of a non-negotiable for the book club because it's a big part of my curriculum. Um, so all some of the kids, all they do is read the book. They have their own curriculums going on. But we just get together to celebrate the book. Though a few of us do do the arrow guides because it's a really nice way to add to our literature at home. And then what the girls are going to make here first, you're welcome, Heather, is these dog collar uh, bookmarks. So let me pull it up at this side, actually. So they'll put their own little dog tag on it with their name. It won't have this card that says demo. And then they will have a bookmark. So I'm gonna get out a few books so they can measure how long they want it. And they can make two of these to put in a book. I kinda of like creating something that they will see and remember this experience by, because that is part of the point. So we have all these different ribbons. I love this, just kinda of goes with the book. But some other fun ones. So the girls can be creative and we'll just use a little fabric glue and some safety pins to hold it and they will have their dog tag bookmarks. 
And then I'll show you the food in the kitchen and the writing activity that we'll do because how can you read a book written in poetry and not do some poetry? So I don't have all the food laid out because book club, we won't be eating for about an hour and I didn't want it to get yucky sitting here, but let me show you. We will have some puppy chow. Um, I don't know, some people call this people chow. This book club is all girls. My son is in third grade and when he hits fifth grade, we will start, I will have three book clubs going. <laughs> a high school one? But uh, this is, that's right. Elementary. That is puppy chow all ready to go. Um, if you look up puppy chow, you can find recipes or people chow. This is cheese and crackers and there, these cheeses are cut into little dog bones. Yes, of course, Heather, puppy chow. It's like the perfect snack. And then the cheese and crackers, just to add a little cute touch, these are cut with a dog bone cookie cutter. And we have puppy pretzels, which really aren't puppy at all. We're just using a little alliteration and having some pretzels. And then we'll have some carrots to make sure we're having some healthy puppies. Of course, puppies probably shouldn't eat carrots, but <laughs> we will today. And then our activity, I'm actually really excited about. I'm in the back of the Arrow Book Club, or not book club, back of the Arrow Book Guides, there's always a literary element. And this month it's poetry, which connects really well to this book. And, oh, Trisha, go downstairs and grab the sodas that we did so they can see them. I forgot about the sodas. Um, they're downstairs in the fridge downstairs. And in the back of that, um, she has a writing activity for the arrow guide. And I decided to adapt that to our book club group today. So what she did is she shared um, several different types of poems, a lyric poem, a sonnet, um, all sorts of different types are listed in the arrow guide. And what I did is I looked up those poems, all five of them, and I printed them on a sheet. So each girl will have those five poems and we're gonna read them. And then we're gonna talk about poetry analysis, which is all in the arrow guide. I'm not having to come up with any of this on my own. Um, and she talks about how asking questions about a poem is analysis. So asking, how does this poem make me feel? What feelings does it evoke? Um, I know, cabinet open again. I went over and shut it. You caught me. Um, I'm looking for the arrow guide. It's not sitting here. Um, what words and phrases are in this poem that I connect to? Things like that. And we'll do that with these poems with the girls. And then I have a bunch of plain paper and cardstock so that they can do what the boy in the book does and they can write their own poem inspired by either one in the book or one of the five that we have gone over. And I know that can seem daunting sometimes to students, so I do have a backup plan for someone who's sitting and saying, I don't know what to write. In the Love That, uh, Love that Dog book, there is a concrete poem which is written as a shape it's an apple in there. Um, so, and then the boy writes one that's shaped like a dog. That's a really easy one to grasp and to do. So I will show that with them. And if they're really stumped, that would be a really easy one to start with, to just think of an object and then use words to create the picture. I can go back in the other room and show you that one. It's in the book. And then when I was in middle school, I wrote a poem called I Am. And whenever I teach poetry, which I love to teach, um, I use, I actually still have my I am poem from when I was in middle school. And I love the first line. It says, I am a talkative girl who likes shopping. That's still true. And then each line just has a starter. Like I wonder, I hear, I see, I want, I pretend, I feel, I touch, I worry, I cry, I understand, I say, I dream, I try, I hope, and I will read them my poem if we have time. I haven't changed it all. And um, the kids, I've never had a student be too intimidated by this poem because they know who they are and they know what they hope and they know what they dream and what they want 
and they see and they hear. So it's a really easy one if I have someone who's kind of stumped. So there are a lot of great poetry options here today. And then they'll write their poems on either lined or blank paper. So I have a stack of blank paper ready for them. And then I have cardstock so they can publish the poem. They can cut it out and they can um, glue it onto the cardstock and they will go home with a beautifully published poem that they wrote. So we are very excited with this party school. All of the party schools don't always include a writing element, but poetry is my favorite thing. It's kind of my absolute favorite thing. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I should say we can do poetry every day and um, I couldn't resist writing poems with the kids So that's what we're gonna do and really um kids love to write poems There have been oh my gosh There have been so many questions about book club and I know I've kind of ignored them to stay on track about how many kids are in the book club and if they all do the arrow guy which I actually answered at the beginning of the scope that you may have missed say hi um but I actually have a question and answer scope on the book clubs that is in my catch account. If you go to catch.me backslash not before seven, see if your question's answered in there. If not, hop on my Facebook page and, um, or send me an email to not before seven at gmail.com and I would be happy to answer it. But I actually have to get ready for these girls <laughs> coming to my house. But this one is all girls. There will be seven of them here today. But since I sh said I would show you this concrete poem, I have walked back in here. Oh, here it is. This is actually in the back of the book. And this is a really, I think, non-threatening type of poem to do is to create the shape of an object using adjectives and nouns and verbs. Um, I actually have a scope on using that as a grammar activity, uh, a grammar writing activity, I think, somewhere in my catch list too. So you all are welcome. I am so excited. Um, thank you for tuning in and for sh sharing. If you think you might have followers who are interested in seeing the Love That Dog book club set up, Pardon the gun noises in the background. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, the sodas. Let me show you that real quick because my, my daughter brought them up. And what we did for a drink, actually very simple, is um, this was Jory's idea, which was fantastic, is we took bottles of soda and she printed off dog poems from online. Now, these poems aren't, necess aren't in the book. These are just dog theme poems that she found. So each of the girls will have a soda bottle with a dog poem. Here it is. So I'm thinking of having them read their dog poems and that'll be a lot of fun too. While we're having our snack, they can each read their poem, which gives us another whole set of poems to analyze and talk about how they make us feel and what questions they evoke in us. So all of that can be found in the Brave Writer Arrow Guide for Love That Dog. All right, now I am truly done. Thank you, thank you for those of you who shared this and for joining in. Yeah, anything you wanted to do. Um, soda was a lovely treat, which I have two soda drinkers who never get that. But you could do water bottles. Yeah, you can hear them cheering. Um, whatever is going to work for you, but it was oh, poetry pop. Look at that, um, I love that. Look at that alliteration. Thank you. Mom to three kiddos. I'm totally calling this poetry pop today. I love you guys. This is awesome. I love Periscope. All right. I'm going to get back to the, Oh, I was going to say to you, for those of you kind of worried about hosting and your house, maybe you couldn't do it and um, the cleaning up and all, I was just going to let you know that the rest of my house looks like with all these people coming over. That's all for Anna Green Gables tomorrow. We got inspired today and are making some salt dough huts and there is mess um, all over the place and children because you know real life is going and I did just want to leave on that note to say clear a space invite people over and get it set up the house does not have to be perfect just make sure that your friends are real that's right, mom with three kiddos, we were talking last night, you were in Raleigh too. We have got to hook up. Send me an email at notbefore7 at gmail.com because if nothing else, we're going to do a little Brave Writer Moms group and we're going to watch the retreat videos together. All right, guys, 
Thanks so much for tuning in. I know I've said goodbye like 15 times, but now I'm saying it for real. And um, I will see you guys all around online. I'm going to end. That would be fantastic. I'll look for your email at 47 at gmail.com. And we are going to end on Love That Dog. Thank you. <laughs>